So if you've clicked on this course and you're interested about the MCAT, you might already know about what it is, but let's just quickly go over it. So the MCAT stands for the Medical College Admissions Test. So that is a test that you'll take if you want to become a doctor, and it's a test that is required by most medical schools in both Canada and the United States. It's a standardized test, and we'll talk more about how it's scored later on, that's taken by over 85,000 students every single year. It's also a computer-based test, so it's all done on the computer and you'll take it at a test center. Now the test is administered by the AAMC, so you might see me mentioning them uh, throughout this course. So the AAMC is the Association of American Medical Colleges, and they actually decide what goes on the MCAT, and they create the MCAT. They also are in charge of organizing the different test centers, and you'll book your test through their website. And so they've used the MCAT or some form of the MCAT in the medical school admissions process for over 90 years. So it's definitely not new. The latest version of the MCAT that is still being used today has been used since 2015. We'll talk more about what makes the MCAT test so unique throughout this course. But right now, let's just learn a little bit more about the test. So the MCAT was actually designed to determine which medical school applicants are most likely to succeed in medical school and medical careers. So it, to do that, AAMC actually did a lot of research over many, many years, and they've talked to many different medical school students, as well as medical school staff, as well as doctors in their careers, to determine more of what are the qualities that make a successful doctor. And then they've tried to figure out um, a test, which is the MCAT, that's goal is to pick out the students who are most likely to succeed in medical school and medical careers. And we'll talk more about how the MCAT test is able to do that. Another very key unique factor about the MCAT test is that it's not just there to test what you know, right? We already have university exams that are there to do that. The MCAT test is a lot more interested in knowing how well you can use what you know and how well you can problem solve. And so you'll see that the test has been designed to do these things.